Hi everyone, this is Joy and welcome back for another Lawn Fawn video. Today I'm excited to share with you this sweet baby card using the new Swish and Pop pull tab die. Now I'm actually starting by stenciling the background and I'm using the Bubbles stencil with ballet slippers and merman ink. And I am inking very, very lightly. I am putting my blender brush in the ink, tapping it off onto the work surface, and then bringing it to my paper. And as you can see, that bubble is really, really light. You almost can't see it until I take away the stencil. I'm laying down the ballet slippers first, then coming in with the merman ink and overlapping slightly, which is going to give me a third color, a soft purple color. So I am building this background really, really soft because I'm also going to be using the Bubbles of Joy stamp set. And we're going to have lots of bubbles from that. And I want those to really stand out, but I didn't want the background to be plain. So that's why I'm using the Bubbles stencil. So I'm just going to stencil all different sizes. What's great about this stencil is it has a really large bubble, goes down to medium, small, smaller, tons of little small ones together. It even gives you the highlight piece that's gonna go onto your bubble. So I'm just going over this whole background. I will slightly overlap some bubbles onto the other ones. Then I'm gonna come in with those smaller bubbles. And those have some little register marks. So when I'm coloring these in, I can use the next set there below, lay over, lay that over with the register marks, ink those up, and then you'll see it has a whole nice collection of bubbles together. Now I'm just using some tape to tape off the areas so I don't get super excited and get my ink off on to other parts of my card that I don't want because I will tend to do that. So I'm just going back and forth everywhere. I'm not worried about going all the way to the bottom because we won't see that part. I did just want to make sure I was going down low enough to make sure that all of this card was covered. Now I'm coming in with those highlight pieces using a little bit of that merman. And then I'm also going to come in with the ballet slippers and I'm just being super, super light handed. Again, I want to keep this very soft in the background so you can see it, but it's not the star of the show. So now I have this uh, bubble border die and I'm going to die cut this from white cardstock three times actually because I need to build up the bottom piece to hide our mechanism, our, our swish and pop pull tab mechanism. Now this die right here is the other part of the bubble border and I'm going to die cut one of those. That's actually going to be the bottom part of our card. Now here is the swish and pop pull tab. I die cut this piece from some acetate. Here is the pull tab. Then you have the end that goes on the pull tab so your recipient knows where to pull. Then you have your little piece here that lines up and makes the holes in your card and then that makes the opening for your pull tab. So we're gonna start by lining this piece up here, this little L-shaped piece. That L on the side, you're gonna butt that up against your cardstock and it's gonna go to the bottom of your card. That's the lowest it needs to go to. You can go higher, but I'm gonna line this up, tape it down and run it through my die cut machine. And when I pull this out, I am going to have some holes and we can pick any one of these holes to line up our swish and pop pull tab. I'm gonna use the second one from the right when we make this card, but you can use any one of them. So now I have the, the swish part is what I'm gonna call it. And I have the large piece in my right hand and the long part in my left hand. I'm using the pull tab. I'm lining those two pieces up together and with a little brad, I'm gonna put that through on the farthest right hole, which is kind of where the round end is on the acetate piece. I'm going to put another brad in on the left hole, which is kind of where the square side is. I'm gonna put that through my cardstock piece on that second hole from the right, and that's how that little swish and pop lever goes. And isn't that awesome? It works out so, so, it's so, so cool. So now that that's done, I'm going to put my bottom piece together. So this is that die cut piece at the bottom. I trimmed off the top to have a nice straight level. And I'm gonna glue the bubble borders onto this, just using a little bit of liquid glue. And I really want this to feel like a ton of bubbles and it needs to be large enough to cover this pull tab mechanism at the bottom. So as you can see there, that's a ton of bubbles and it's gonna cover it so perfectly. 
So now I'm going to line up my pull tab. I have my acetate piece at the top as far as I want it to go to the right. So I'm lining that up. I'm going to tape down my pull tab piece. I'm going to line up my piece that's going to go over this, my bubble piece that's going to hide this interactive mechanism. Then I'm going to come in with the piece that makes the tab. It has two little arrows off of it, which lines up perfectly with the pull tab piece. And then it those long arms butt up next to my cardstock. Once that's lined up, I'm going to tape that down and run this through my die cut machine. It actually cuts through perfectly, even though I have multiple layers. I do have to snip the little ends right there because I had it, the die cut piece pushed into the left a little far. Now I'm going to put a little piece of foam adhesive right in that spot right there in front of my acetate mechanism because I don't want it to go any further to the right so that actually acts as a stopper. I'm going to tape my handle down again and I'm going to trim it off and now we can add our little pull tab handle. So again, this is the piece that shows the recipient where to pull. I just inked up some white cardstock with the Merman ink and then die cut that out. I thought that little pop of color down there will be super, super cute. So I'm just gonna use some liquid glue, tape that to the end of my pull tab, and now your recipient knows that you need to pull here because it has that little arrow in it. Now let's color these cute critters. Ignore these bubbles I was practicing and I will show you some more bubble coloring in a minute. But for this cute bunny, I used T1, 3, and 5. And the little bunny is from Upon a Star. And I thought he was so cute because he was looking up. I have these two sweet baby bears and one of them is from The Den Sweet Den. The other one that looks like he's reaching, that one is from Snow Much Fun. I'm coloring the bears in E30. 33 and 35 and aren't they so darling then we have the cute little mice from the bubbles of joy stamp set and I'm going to color those in w1 3 and 5 and I just like all these little characters they look like they're looking up or they're reaching so it's perfect for having a ton of bubbles in this card so I kept these colors very light and si simple in their color lines keeping to the lighter colors but using three colors per brown or gray to get a good color combo. So now for these bubbles, I'm gonna lay down R81 here. And as you can see, I'm leaving a little bit of a white edge between the color and the black stamped edge. I'm coming in with BG11. And then here is BV11. And as you can see, I'm overlapping the colors. I want a blend between all three of the colors to give me even more colors for these bubbles. I'm going to come in with B0000, there's four zeros there, and I'm going to put that in the center. I'm also using BG10 next to the BG11 to really get a good blend and a soft blend to the center. So here is the BG0000, and then I'm going to use my blender print pen and just kind of soften that in the center and kind of go around the edges where all the color meets in the center, if that makes sense. Once that's blended nicely, here is the BG10. And I even brought that around by the pink and the purple, which I really liked. And I'm just blending all the colors together to get a nice good blend. As you can see here, it softens up any harsh lines. Then on the white edges, I'm coming into the opposite color. So by the by the turquoise, I'm adding purple. By the pink, I'm adding turquoise. Then I'm just coming in with my blender pen to soften that. Now to add the final details, I'm using a white gel pen to add some highlights. I'm also going to highlight the white areas between the color and the stamped edge. I'm going to color all of my bubbles exactly the same way. I've got tons of little ones and uh, quite a few big ones. And as you can see, this turned out really super, super cute. Okay, so now let's put this card together. I have got some foam tape and I folded that in half because you need some room for this swish and pop to move. So I folded that in half. I'm adding some on the left and adding some on the right at the bottom. But as you can see there, I'm leaving that little spot open so the swish and pull tab can move freely. I'm adding a little square at the top left of my die cut piece that's gonna cover the mechanism and a little bit on the top right. I actually end up trimming that down because I think I had a little too much foam tape on the top right. 
But as you can see that that moves around and looks fantastic. Once I know that everything lines up, I can remove the release tape and adhere this down. Now, once I adhered this down, my little pull tab, when I would hold my card upright, kind of would sag a little bit. So I actually cut another small piece of foam tape and just slid it in. So that way that pull tab wouldn't fall down, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna slide it in between the pull tab and the other piece of foam tape at the bottom. And it completely solved my problem. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere my first bubble to the acetate piece. I'm just using a little bit of tape runner. I'm not sticking this down hard. I'm just getting it to where I want to see it hide behind the other bubbles and how high up I want it to go. So once I get it where I want it, then I'm just going to trim off the acetate piece. And now that little bubble is going to hide perfectly back there. Now I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on here and I just used my other bubbles that I was practicing on to really make sure that number one, I got a good stamp, a good stamped image and I could line it up straight. And this one says, it's a girl. Now the other sentiments, these are all the sentiments are from the Reveal Wheel Spring Sentiment Stamp. So these are already curved, which are perfect, but they need to be curved a little more. So I'm adhering it to my acrylic block and I'm just gonna start bending it down a little more. I want it to be the same curve as the bubble. This is kind of like, almost like a little reveal card for a baby. Like you're expecting, like you don't know what the baby's gonna be and when that bubble pops up, it's gonna tell you it's a girl. But the other sentiments say, little one, sweet pea and baby. So once I get it to the perfect arch, I'm just gonna stamp that with the jet black ink. And then as you can see here, it turned out so cute on this bubble. So the next one I am gonna stamp will say Sweet Pea. I'm gonna do the same thing. I just have the stamp down on my work surface, stamp it with my acrylic block, and just start bending the edges down. You can do this with a straight sentiment as well. It's just super helpful that this already had a little arch to it. Now the word baby that I am gonna stamp with, it has a little bit of a, an arch to it, but that one, as small as it was, I still needed to bend it a little bit more just to make sure it looks like it is going in the circle around this bubble. So again, I'm just doing the same thing and stamping that sentiment. So these are the only sentiments that are gonna be on this card. So now I'm gonna start lining up my bubbles and I'm gonna use foam tape for these other bubbles and it's okay if it kind of overlaps the bubble that is on the swish and pop mechanism because it's just gonna slide right underneath it as long as your foam tape is not in the way. So I'm just kind of messing around with where this is where I can place my other bubbles so that way they are not in the way. Like I said, I'm gonna use foam tape behind all of them and I'm just gonna kind of make them wonky. I don't need the sentiments to be perfectly straight. I think that's part of the charm of this card and the background and just kind of the nature of bubbles, right? So I'm, this one's gonna hang off the edge, which I will trim off anything that hangs off the edge with the exception of the bottom. The bottom is gonna be so much fun. So I'm taking the smaller bubbles, adding some more foam tape, adhering those in and around on the card. And then I finished laying everything out and now I'm just gonna glue things down. The rest of this is just taking some liquid glue. I'm, a, I'm gluing that stream of bubbles to the other larger bubble, so there's no foam tape behind that, but it's gonna stay floating up. And so my swish and pop bubble can just slide right underneath it. And look at all these cute little critters. They're all little babies to me and it's like they're waiting for the news of what the next baby is gonna be. Some of them, that little bear on the right's reaching for a bubble. That little mouse in the center is reaching for the bubbles. The other ones, the bunny's just staring up at it. I mean, it is just so darling. Now I'm coming in with a black glaze pen and I'm adding that to the sweet little critter's eyes. Once that's dry, I'm gonna come in with a white gel pen and add a few more dots to their eyes. And this just really brings those characters to life. And those kind of details make all the difference on a card. I am gonna trim off the side pieces that are overlapping the bubbles that are hanging off the side, leaving the bottom. I'm adding that to a white A2 size card base. Now I would use a five by seven envelope when mailing this, but look at how sweet this is. You've got all the sweet little critters, the beautiful bubbles, the stenciled background. What a fun interactive card. 
It's a great, great baby card. The bottom is so fun because it's so bubbly. I just want to thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this project, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.